G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament. Now, uh, this is a BBO tournament, which is eight boards long and it's match points, and you get to go in and compare yourself with 15 other people. Uh, every now and then I just get to give it a shot once a week and compare with a couple other people that do it as well. Uh, if you haven't seen any other of the uh, bridge streamers, I recommend you check out uh, T. Gwyn and Tri uh, Chris Chung. They've got... Uh, they do this as well when they can, uh, so if you want a couple more comparisons, check them out. Uh, anyway, I'll get into it, and hopefully I can do okay. Um, I'd love to hear how you guys went in it, so if you've got any feedback on how you go, just let me know. Okay, one diamond from my mate, uh, one spade over coal, 11 points. And uh, I could bid... Probably two no trumps is about right. That would show 10 to 12 uh, invite. There's a pretty rubbish 11 count. Uh, the weirdest part about this, all right, is that uh, in the weekly free instant tournament, you have the best or equal best hand at the table. So seeing as I've got 11 points, uh, like that's not a standard bridge thing, but like just in this tournament. I know that my partner's also got 11, and nothing more. Uh, so, this is quite peculiar. So, first of all, the robots tend not to open 11 counts. So that is, like, particularly weird. Um, so, two no trumps, I think, is the very standard bid, and probably the bid I'd make playing in just a normal bridge environment. Uh, this one, I don't think will be like I don't actually want to be in game opposite 11 points and so I'm now tossing up between one no trump because I'm not interested in game opposite an 11 count but also for my partner to open an 11 count they probably have an unbalanced hand and as weird as this might be maybe two diamonds is okay because if they've got a short spade I want to compete in diamonds so I think two no trumps is the standard bid, one no trump is okay, and probably the right bid in this scenario where we've got the best or equal best hand. And just because I know the robot doesn't like opening 11 counts, I'm actually strongly considering two diamonds. Let's give it a shot. This is probably not what anyone else would do, so. All right, two hearts, three diamonds. Okay, four hearts. Okay, and I know that it's like 11, 11, 11 and 9 or something. So I'm just, like, they've got unbalanced hands. If they make this, I'm probably in a pretty crappy spot because 2 no trump would have uh, bought it out and I think a lot of people would bid 2 no trumps. Um, so if they're making this game, I don't think I'm going to get a good score. There'll be a bunch of people that bid 1 no trump and probably still get the 2 heart bid over it, uh, which... Is not terrible. Um, they still might get to four hearts over that. But I reckon I should double them because I think if they're making this game, uh, we're in some serious trouble. Okay. King of Diamonds lead from my partner. Okay, so my partner's got. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm really liking this. Uh, Dummy has six spades, I have four, and they have, like, no more entries to this east hand other than club, club rough. Uh, my partner's got five diamonds, so west has a singleton diamond. Probably something like uh, one, one spade, six hearts, uh, one diamond, and five clubs. It's probably my guess of what their hand shape is. Okay. Alright, we got our diamond trick, and we're, I'm going to score two heart tricks now, so it's all okay. Um, I think that'll be the uh, final trick we actually get. I think West might have eight hearts. Oh no, seven hearts. One heart in North, two in East, and uh, that is it. No, West only has uh, spades and hearts at the moment. So down one. 
Oh, down two. Awesome. The seven of clubs from my partner. Huge seven right there. Beautiful. Love their work. Uh, down two for the win. And 100% to start off. This is a fantastic way to bring in the new year. Uh, okay, so I would have definitely been the only people to do it. So some people who bid two no still got the three heart bid over it and three spades. This got doubled by lots of people and they beat that one trick for quite a decent score. Um, so two no trump was a pretty common bid and I think probably the right one opposite a in not this sort of artificial environment. Um, uh, someone made three hearts when it got a one no trump bid. Uh, another one no trump bidder. Someone passed. Uh, interesting choice. Not one I really considered. And uh, three people bid, well, two people bid three no, which I think is drastically overbidding the hand, and especially bad if you know that your partner's got 11. In fact, my partner only had 10. Someone bid one no and then came back in with three no and got minus 250. Final score, two spades doubled. All right, well, I'm happy to start with 100%. And I was the only person to choose two diamonds, and it was a peculiar action, but that was just because it was a really artificial uh, setup when I had 11 points. Okay. What a good start. Hand number two. Uh, 15, 17 points. Okay. Another interesting choice. I could bid three hearts, or I could sort of fudge it again and bid two no trumps pretending like my hand balanced. Uh, I don't have a balanced hand, but the spade holding sort of more encouraging me to go towards no trumps than spades. Um, but clubs could be an issue. Um, I, if I end up in four hearts and it just goes spade to the ace, spade rough, I would just be like so sad. Um, and three no trumps could be a drastically better spot, but I'll still bid three hearts. I think this is a very close decision at match. Okay, three hearts past four hearts. Okay, don't show me this. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so spade to the ace, spade are off to start with. All right, we probably would have ended up in uh, four hearts anyway, because my partner might stamen. Um... Anyway, here I'm going to lose the ace of spades, a spade rough. Uh, and I've got two diamond losers. I have to deal with them. So, uh, what to do, what to do. Wow, that is a dream switch. Okay, that is just so nice, it's not funny. Okay, that just makes this really easy. So I'm just going to draw trumps. Uh, they're even 3 1. Wow. Uh, so West has one heart and one spade. Uh, I really should have checked if West randomly followed with the uh, seven or eight of diamonds, but I completely missed that. Alright, so let's draw trumps. Okay. Uh, now, I just have the rest of the tricks here. Well, assuming that this works. Yeah, that works. So I got no uh, more diamond losers. Beautiful uh, hand here. And 12 tricks. Not the uh, best defense by the robots, but I suspect this will be pretty flat. 75%, wow. Okay, uh... Lots of people got to four hearts. A few people even passed two spades. Um, someone doubled. Looks like three hearts was the uh, standout choice. I only saw double or three hearts. No one actually came up with two no trumps, which I thought was pretty close. I still thought three ended up going with three hearts, but you know, touch and go. 
Anyway, I am very happy with the current way this is rolling on uh, 87%. And another good hand. Uh, 10, 17 points. Beautiful. Okay, heart pass and no trump. Um, so they play forcing no trump, so I want to bid something. Kind of feels like, I think three hearts is my normal bid. Six plus hearts, 16 to 18 points. My heart suit's not great, but I think I really should do that anyway. Okay, three hearts pass, four hearts. Um, really bogus description of my partner's hand. If they had a three card 10 to 12 raise, there's something I really dislike about putting a, a three card 10 to 12 raise into a no trump. But if my partner has that, then slam could easily be on with like king, queen, third heart, and the ace of diamonds. Uh, I need maybe something else, but that's only nine points and slams there or thereabouts. Uh, but I, there's so many hands my partner can have for this, it's, I really don't know. So I'm just going to pass, but if my partner's got the right hand, six hearts could be on. If they've got the three card raise. Oh, okay. Uh, partner does not have the <laughs> three card raise. Um, right. They just have the eight card club suit. I was not predicting that. Not at all. Anyway, uh, I have a spade loser, a club loser, and at least one heart loser. So the real question is how do I get rid of this spade loser? And I think it's going on the clubs. Um, and I think I have to work on them straight away. So jack of clubs. West would probably fly if they had the ace, so let's just run that. Right, and that just got roughed. Okay. Uh, so... I have a spade loser. Uh, there's There were six hearts out, there's now five. If I play king of hearts, I'm hoping... So, let's try and work this out. If hearts... I can handle one spade and one more heart loser. So, if I play heart to the king, heart to the ace, I'm hoping that hearts either started 3-3 three, three, or east started with four of them. Okay. Uh, my other alternative is I just trump the... Uh, trump the spade... And then I'll have no spade loser. And then I give myself an extra heart loser. But does that help in any way? I don't think it really helps. If... What? What? Uh, I missed what uh, heart they actually roughed in there with. Um... Okay. Let's just play a heart to the king and lead another club. If they trump in there, I just throw my spade loser away. So I sort of got to double dip there. Uh, hopefully they don't get like just a trump promotions here. Uh, but they didn't rough in there. Uh, that is kind of scary. So why didn't they rough in with the club? Why didn't they over rough me? If East had five hearts, am I in trouble? Uh, so how many spades does East have? There was two, two, three, six. All right, I... Yeah, let's just lay down the Ace of Hearts. Hmm. Well, that's not good. And I lose to... Do I have another loser? No. 10 tricks. 68%. Completely lost track of the hearts position. They were 3-3 three, three in the end. 
68% for that. A few people went down. Interesting way to play that hand. Uh, 10 tricks is the best I can actually manage. Strange layout. Wasn't really where I wanted to end up, but really curious when they either did rough or didn't rough. Um, anyway, running pretty well at 81% uh, so far. So uh, we'll just move on. Pass, pass, pass to me. Uh, 14, 15 points, 2, 4, 5, 2. I love to treat these hands as balanced. Um, if I open a diamond, I just have to reverse and kind of gets a bit awkward. So even though I'm not strictly balanced, I think opening one no trumps right. Invite. Uh, I got 15 with two doubletons, and the robots are always conservative with their invites, so let's give it a go. I like to accept my partner's invites. Okay, beautiful. Love their work. Uh, got two club losers and a spade loser off the top. Um, they let a diamond. Those diamonds are really good from partner. I've only got eight points here, um, but let's take a heart finesse. I really need the heart king on side. Okay, that worked. Now, the real question is how can I, do I risk getting back in diamonds or do I hope that there's a doubleton king dropping? Um, okay, so I've got a couple of, like, if East has two hearts to the king, I can just lay down the ace of hearts, jack of hearts, and I'm good. Alternatively, I could play a diamond to the jack, hoping that uh, diamonds were 3-2, and lead another heart up. So, what are better odds? So, if I didn't get the diamond lead, I know that I'd crossing in diamonds seems very normal. Uh, human players love leading... Uh, singletons. Whereas the robot's uh, always a bit iffy, so it is a close one. Um, alternatively, I could try and lead a spade to the king, okay? Which means that even if diamonds are 4 1, they might not realize to give their partner the rough. And it's sort of like double dipping there. So I reckon if I do choose to cross, I'll play a spade first rather than. Um, a low diamond to the jack because that forces them to get their rough I, I don't think I want to play for king doubleton hard on side because when I saw the diamond it went low queen 10 small so I actually think that ace might have the singleton diamond if someone has it but I really don't know because the robots just sort of pick random cards at random there and King Doubleton Heart doesn't seem that likely, so I think I'll... I, I will just uh, try and uh, sneak a spade to the king. And a spade back. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, so now I've got another dilemma here. I could duck it in my hand and play a diamond over and pitch my, um, my club. But I, I don't think that's a good idea. Like, I don't, firstly, I don't think everyone's going to get to four hearts. And there are so many other issues that over tricks are sort of low on my uh, radar here. So I'm going to overtake just to get my entry. And lead another heart. Ah, uh, sigh. So I still have a, um, still have a heart loser. All right, so let's uh, draw one more trump. Okay, he still has the ten of hearts. Now, they're roughed in and they can get two club tricks here. And they do. So I'm down one. And East did have the uh, singleton diamond, which was a nuisance. Anyway, I don't think this will score too well, but hopefully not too badly. 42%. I'll certainly take that. Uh, 
<laughs> Someone was one down in two hearts. That's how tricky this hand was. Someone did make four hearts, though. Making eleven. They won the diamond. They hooked the heart. They crossed in the diamond, got the rough. Ace of spades and a spade. They played it from the other way up. Um, I could have considered not overtaking, like, ten of spades and not overtaking the king. But really just getting to the north hand was my main priority. With trumps 4-1, I wasn't realistically trying to uh, make it here. Oh, I'm feeling pretty harshly done by. Look, 71% here, and I'm in rank 3 currently. This is... There are some high scoring... Uh, there's some high scores running around here. And I also like it's four hearts, four hearts, four hearts, four hearts. <laughs> uh, a lot of hearts here. Alright. 14 bagger. Nice, good hearts. Pass, pass to me. Uh, I'll just open one heart. Uh, two clubs Drury, which is maximum passed hand with a fit. So that's what they mean by that. And then it went two hearts, Michaels. Now, my hand's awesome. Opposite of maximum passed hand. Happy to give four hearts a shot. And I just love four hearts as a contract. Wow, <laughs> they ruined it. Absolutely ruined it for me. Um, how dare they? You mean it has to be something other than four hearts? Okay. Um... So let's think, is five hearts a viable spot? So my partner's got a short spade now. So we've got at most one spade loser. And I've got four minor suit cards. I need my partner to cover three of them. So if my partner's got like ace, queen, jack of diamonds and a doubleton spade, uh, that might be good enough. Uh, they didn't double four spades. Um, and there's even chances four spades might make if yeah so I'm, I'm gonna bid I really don't know what's going on uh, doubling could be right uh, but east west could easily be making uh, four spades if my partner's got like a stiff spade and four hearts we might get one heart one spade and a, a, one other card uh, but five hearts definitely could go down Yeah, so that wasn't the perfect hand I was hoping for. And I would have expected my partner to double four spades with this. King X of spades. Really rubbishy sort of hand. Um, like, they don't want me bidding on. I clearly expect I'm going to make, so... I think it's our hand, and they should just double. And... Because they don't want me to bid on. They've got no sharp cards. The king of spades is a waste. Things like that. Uh, so I think they definitely should be doubling here. My best hope here... So I'm never going to make this. i got three diamonds and a club to lose. I really need them... to be making four spades. To get sort of any match points, really. King of diamonds and the queen dropped. That's not what I wanted. Alright, so east has one diamond, so hearts are probably 2-2. Two, two. So against four spades, we've got two hearts, two spades, probably a club or two. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot to the play of this hand. I'm just going to draw two rounds of trumps. Yeah, <laughs> hearts were 2-2. Two, two. They were getting pretty punished in four spades doubled. Uh, we don't even make four hearts. I think my partner definitely should double. Because up to me, like, I don't know what's actually... Like, I had a really sharp hand and other good stuff like that. Anyway, that hurt. Five hearts, down one. Down two, sorry. 21%, but I was not alone. There was quite a few people doing that. Uh, a few people passed out four spades. I don't like that at all. Uh, it's definitely your hand. It's either bid on or double. Passing out four spades is just sitting in the middle of the road. Worked out today, but I don't think it's a good choice. 
And to then there was a couple that doubled four spades. Yeah, so one person chose that sort of action. Pass pass four hearts. That person managed to buy it there and make it. So that's a pretty good score by them. All right. Let's see if we get Sonic other than hearts here. 10, 12 points, 4 triple 3. Uh, and at week 2 on my right. So again, I know that the points are relatively evenly split because I got the best hand at the table. Um, I got some good hearts. I'm tossing up between pass and uh, double here. Um, Is that a robot issue with the previous board? You mean about not doubling? Um, I think... Or like the variation in stuff. Uh, I, I don't think the robots are good at sort of choosing when to penalize them or playing forcing pass or stuff like that. Uh, as for... A robot issue with like, yeah. I don't think they know how to do forcing passes. So, yeah. Mm, yeah. I, I <laughs> Their sort of judgment in this area is pretty rubbish. They, they don't understand that um, uh, your partner might choose to bid on or things like that. And they don't know for sure four spades is going on, but double should say, like, I don't want you to bid on rather than like it's necessarily going off because if I bid five hearts opposite partner that doubles I know there's wasted values and things like that uh, 10 12 yeah I think there's a pass if I had a double and spade I'd probably bid two spades pass three spades pass pass Again, based on all the limited points, I'm tempted just to make a penalty double. Although, I think it says it's takeout, which is weird. Okay, so I'll just pass. And lay down the ace of hearts. Okay. So, 8, 9 points there, 12 in my hand. 21 points, uh, 19 missing. So my partner's probably got about 10 and East has 9. That would be my guess. And if East has the Queen of Hearts, I really don't want to continue. And the robots don't really signal really well. I don't think we're in a rush to cash like King of Hearts another heart. Um, because Dummy's got nothing good to uh, throw their hearts on. So I can be pretty passive here. Um, the question is, do I want to open up clubs? Do I want to open up diamonds? I'm still not sure. My partner's got one spade. My partner's probably got a club on her. If it's the king, I can open it up. Like, I don't think East has like king jack to six spades and king jack of clubs. So let's switch to the ten of clubs. Ten to the king and queen of diamonds. Ducked. Alright, so my partner's obviously got something higher than the queen of diamonds here. Club back. So, okay, really happy to see the queen there. So I'll just catch the king and I'll try the jack. I expect this gets roughed. No. Beautiful. Queen of clubs. Awesome. All right. And East has shown up with the jack of clubs, queen of hearts. For three points. And I got the king jack of spades. I... My partner can't have ace, king, queen of diamonds and the king of hearts. They might. King of clubs, ace, king, queen of diamonds. That might be enough. Uh, yeah, let's just play a diamond, see if we get another trick. Alright, we got. <laughs> yeah, what was I doing? I know Easter's only got trumps left. Um, so that's fine. Don't cover that. Oh, they managed to. Uh, how'd they pick to hook that in a nine card fit? That's outlandish. Anyway, down two, 
and uh, 82%. Someone managed to beat it three, but okay. So a bunch of people doubled. I think it's a bit too much pushy to do that. Uh, a couple of people only beat it uh, one trick. And uh, yeah, I think beating it two is the most you can get. But back on board, back up to 82, well, running at 65%. Down two was the best we could do. <laughs> uh, good point, Game King. I did realize that they had to rough the diamond eventually, but it was just a bit sloppy. I was like, I want more tricks. Uh, would I act on the North cards? Um, yeah, I think I'd double with the North cards. 12 points, 1, 3, 5, 4. Uh, you just got a preemptive raise. Um, it's not perfect, it's a bit pushy, I don't mind pass, but I, I'd probably take the push and try and compete. Um, obviously we would get back to our favourite contract of four hearts, and how does that even go? We have one spade loser, no hearts, no diamonds, a club. We probably can make four hearts in the 4-3 fit here, it's a very favourable layout. Um, but, yeah, like, it's a bit squeezy getting there, but I think I would act with the uh, North cards here. Uh, you, you could definitely see yourself going down a lot, but uh, when, when they preempt you, you just really have to take the push a lot of the time. All right. Hand number seven. Two to go. I'm in rank three. So hopefully I can just pick it up a bit. Or maybe just maintain my percentage. It's probably enough to win, but uh, over six boards, it's not leading yet. Uh, 10, 15 points, 4, 1, 3, 5 shape. Uh, let's just start with a club. And bid my spades now. Three clubs. Invite. Um, so definitely going to go to game. Partner's got four clubs and four hearts. Ten to twelve points. Um, oh, sorry, I just got the question. Would I act if I'm vulnerable? Uh, I think it's a lot closer if I'm vulnerable. Uh, at match points, I wouldn't act vol. At imps, I'd probably still do it. Um, I'd really like the, the fourth heart being at the dead minimum range. Um, so... If I was vulnerable, match points, I think it's a pass. Vulnerable imps, it's a borderline call. But good question. Um, three clubs. So, like, three no trumps is a pretty standout bid, but I'm just vaguely considering slam. So, what do I need to make slam? If my partner has short spade... Yeah, I, I think Slam's a little too far away just to, like, go and commit to it. Uh, but I've got, I've got a pretty decent hand. And you could find some hands that make Slam, like Ace Doubleton Spade, Four Little Hearts, King, double, King Third Diamond, and Ace Fourth Club. And then that's on one of two hooks. And it's a, a nice 11 count um, with no heart wastage, so... There are hands that make slam, but I think it's way too hard to actually get there and uh, find find the uh, slam. So I'm, I'm just going to bid three no trumps. Right. Okay, three no trumps. I got... Five club winners, two heart winners is seven, a diamond winner is eight. Uh, and I can either finesse spades or diamonds, and I can double finesse both of them. So in spades, I can finesse up the queen jack of spades, so run the eight of spades and then low to the ten. In diamonds, I can lead low to the ten, low to the jack. Uh, I think I actually want to work on spades, because if they work, that brings me two tricks. Whereas if diamonds works, it only brings me one trick. Uh, so I reckon it's probably better to do that. I have limited entries to the north hand, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um, 
And I could try and just get a couple of discards out of the opponents first, so... Let's just win and uh, cash one more club. Okay, they're 2-2, two, two, so they bu I'm just making them discard once yet. I have blocked up the suit, but 7 of spades, glad to see that. 5 of hearts, also happy to see that. Alright, so we'll just uh, put the edge of spades on the table and run that. Okay, and they play a diamond for me. This is just working out really well. Okay. Um, I think the opponents will have to play hearts for me at some stage. So I'm actually just going to strand the king of hearts. It's not fantastic, but I'm fairly sure that they're going to have to play hearts at some stage. Uh, so let's finesse that again, and there's the ace. So my king's good. Uh, well, they didn't play... Um, and they're all good. So I didn't get my uh, king of hearts, but... 96%. Beautiful. <laughs> It's a bit dubious stranding my uh, king of hearts, but I still managed to make 11 tricks, uh, 10 tricks. Uh, one other person did it. It did look like a hand just that you should play on diamonds, but that only got you one trick. And if the spade, it was also a double finesse position, but nowhere near as obvious. And it worked and it seemed like it got us an extra trick. Um, but my entries were a big issue. I didn't thoroughly think that through and I could have got myself stranded a bit. Anyway, snuck into rank one now and we're on 69%. One board to go, so let's see if we can hang on. Um, 14 points, pass, pass, pass to me. Uh, there's a pretty average 14 points. If you check out, uh, why did you unblock Ace of Hearts? Heart switch later could have been nasty. Um, I thought that the opponents would have to play hearts for me, and I didn't think if, like, they had lots of stuff to act on. When it went spade to the queen, um, so let's bring it up. So club, another club, so I just blocked up the suit. Club here. And I took the first spade finesse. And here I saw the queen, so I was fairly sure East had the jack. Nor also seen one discarded. And a low diamond here. So at this stage, uh, unblocking the ace of hearts. Uh, I guess I might not get my diamond trick, but... Oh yeah, also my entries are pretty rubbish. So yeah, that was a bit of a mistake, unblocking the ace of hearts. Mainly because... I now don't have entries to my hand anymore. Um, not for them attacking hearts or anything like that, but... Uh, I spent the whole time thinking that getting to the north hand was the tricky part, and I managed to burn so many entries that unblocking the ace of hearts is actually bad here, entry-wise. Um, but I, after ace of hearts club to the ace, spade up, I wasn't worried about them playing a heart because I knew that the spades would work, but the main reason I shouldn't do it is for the entry back to the club and to the spades and stuff like that. So that was a bit of a misplay, but I got away with it. Um, 10, 14, pass, pass, pass. It's pretty average 14. Uh, if you check out the other commentary, I know that T. Gwynn will open this in No Trump for sure, just because he loves opening 14 counts in No Trump. Um, I don't mind it doing it not vol. I think it would be reasonable. Uh, but I think I'll just stick to like the normal thing of opening a club. One heart, two clubs, responsive double. Okay. Um, I'm going to compete to three clubs. Double. Is that a penalty double? Three spades. Okay, they've got to be in trouble here. <clears throat> um... Can I double this? 
I've got four spades. I've got the ace of clubs, king, queens, right? My partner will have something for me. Uh, East doesn't have heart support for West. If they make this, I probably have a bad score. And a one no trump opening would have worked out pretty well. I'm a bit confused why they haven't bid to diamonds. Yeah, let, let, let's risk it. Let's double it. At imps, I would not double three spades here. Ah, good. My partner's on lead. I was initially thinking that I might have had some trouble. I really would have liked a um, club lead. That would have been nice. Jack of spades. Low heart. If they finesse the queen, that's not going so well for me. Diamond up. Beautiful. Can partner put the uh, queen of... Um, Clubs on the table for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I could have used another club. Just one more. Um, anyway, we are beating this. Okay, so how can we beat this more than one? I got the King Queen of Spades, and I know that West only has a three card spade suit. And probably only five hearts. And two clubs and three di and three diamonds. Okay, so what are my options here? Okay, I think well, I'm definitely I'm not ducking the spade. That's for sure. If my partner just played another club, like Queen of Clubs and another club. I would be able to win the jack and then play queen of spades, king of spades, and just keep playing clubs. And they were going to be in lots of trouble with that. Uh, but that second spade is rather annoying. Anyway. And I think I actually have to catch this ace of clubs, which is a bit sick. Because they easily could be making it if... Uh, yeah. West might have had the chance to pitch all the things. Anyway, we'll try and set up a diamond trick. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> they had entry issues. So they wanted to untangle the diamond. But they if they win the king of diamonds, yeah, beautiful. They get to rough there. And whatever. We'll give them the king of clubs. They're always going to get that. Another heart. They're rough, and that diamond's good, probably. Plus 300, 92%, and finished in first on 72% all up. Three spades doubled down two for the win. We could have beaten it three tricks, um, but I think when my partner continued the second spade, that's when it all uh, came crashing down. Anyway, I'm very happy to start the new year off with uh, a win and 72%. Uh, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And I'll be right back with a commentated play session shortly. Hopefully you stick around for that. And I'll see you then. Bye for now.